Well, of course, that would be ideal, wouldn't it? I mean, that's what we want. And in fact, when Act 20 was put into place in 2003, it did require an additional amount of physical activity at both the elementary and middle school and uh, high school levels uh, for kids. And then when Act 201, was that 2007? was uh, passed, it reduced, it went backwards and reduced the amount of time that kids have to spend in, in physical activity and, and PE now because there was just enough groundswell in the state of people being upset about it. Um, school principals are worried about getting in all their academic uh, instructional time and if we have this much PE or this much mandated physical activity how are we going to make sure the kids do everything else when of course there is a body of literature a whole body of literature out there that's that basically um, indicates that if kids are physically active they actually do better in school that it improves in performance to allow and actually promote children to be physically active and so one of the studies that I do we do something called classroom exercise breaks and we give the teachers cards with two to five minute activities on them so that at any point in the day they could pull out a card and do an activity and let me tell you do you know how hard it has been to get teachers to to do just that little thing we I, it's uh, out of all the things we've tried to implement in the schools that's the one that's been done the least and it's the absolute easiest well, it is one of the recommendations that will be coming out of the Child Health Advisory Committee because I'm the head of the physical activity um, subsection, and so uh, we've made a number of recommendations, and that's one of them is to have um, physical because activity breaks for at least two minutes of every hour. Right, because the scientific evidence is that you can do it in small increments. If you need your 30 minutes a day or 60 minutes a day, you can do it in 10-minute bouts and that's fine, even smaller ones really, as long as you're moderately to vigorously active, getting the heart rate up, the little bits can add up through the day, you don't have to do it all in one session, and so that's why we promote these small activity breaks for kids. Wakes them up again too, and they can pay attention to the next lesson. And physical activity, if I had to write one prescription uh, for anybody, it would be physical activity. There's so many studies to show that it's protective for your heart, and your heart is a muscle, and it needs to be exercised. And what is the number one killer of all Americans, both men and women, is heart disease. And so take it out and exercise it. And um, so it, it builds muscle, um, and it is just so so important to get that physical activity in and um, and it starts in childhood and if you can start it there and keep it going I mean I managed to make it through medical school even though I got physical activity in school every day I don't know how I made it through but I did 